Warning, I am not a professional. This is just a hobby of mine, and then from time to time, I get distracted and do stupid things like cutting my finger off. Please don't do that. That really effing hurt. What's going on everybody? It's Brian, Sparky's Model Salvage. Uh, today I'm painting the 68 GTO. Um, obviously not going to be a nice paint job like it never is. It's always going to end up crapping like I always want it. So I just thought I'd show you how I do the paint uh, for this one. And every time I do the paint, it's always different. Uh, I might not do it the same way I do the next one or I mean I, I use the salting technique I sometimes I just put the rust on there with a the brush uh, sometimes I sand it down with 1500 uh, other times I just used a I, I've also used like a paint brush where I just cut the tip off of it and just kind of just like grind it into the paint and uh, make a little like chip marks and stuff, but there's a bunch of different ways that I do this. bathroom obviously uh, I got a couple paint brushes here won't be using these because the paint is hard so yeah won't be needing those but what I'm gonna do is wet sand it I got a little bowl in here with a bunch of different sandpaper and uh, yeah it's used but I still somewhat use it until it gets to the point where it's just not doing anything and more than I just throw it away uh, I got a couple pieces of 1000 grit here. I uh, normally use 1500, but I think I'm going to probably have to sand a little bit harder on this because of the fact that it is dry completely. So, yeah, uh, get started on that. And, uh, yeah. All right, so here we are. Uh, Brought it back into the room and uh, dried it off. So basically what this is, is, let me clean my lens off here. Okay. You're not doing this on your first try, okay? You're, you're not getting it to exactly the way that you want it after just sanding it. Okay, this is layering and layering and layering. Okay, it's, it's all about layering. Okay, the, what I'm basically doing is, right, when, when I was sanding it, okay, uh, you're sanding off a lot of the shininess, trying to bring some of the primer through. As you can see, like I sometimes, some of it I sanded too much and I brought the plastic through, which I will address that later. That's fine. That's not a big deal. Okay. Uh, see, it's still shining. A little bit of shine on the hood. You know, it, it's fine. Okay. All this is fine. Because it's all about layering. You know, and I'm using a lot of different techniques, a lot of different ideas. This isn't... This is what I had in mind is... It's there. It's, it's about where I want it. I'm going to um, make some more. I'm going to make some rust at the bottom. Like we're uh, around, along the rockers. And maybe eliminate that trim piece. Uh, some builders will do that before they paint it. Me, it does. I don't really care. Because I'm going to end up using this stuff on it anyways. So... 
even if I grind it off with my Dremel, it's not really going to matter. Um, cause I'm just going to go right back with that anyways, and it's going to be rust and I'm going to use that along with this. And you see, I've used most of the orange out of it. I need to probably get a new one. I think I got a new one up here somewhere. Uh, and I'm also using this. Okay, so this is actually gonna be my next step. Maybe, no, I take that back. I'm not doing that yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up probably grinding off a lot of the rocker. Um, putting some holes in the fender, you know, stuff like that. So like, so far, I've basically have, uh, I don't know, an hour and a half in this so far, and this is how far I am. These, uh, I'm going to show you the process of how I rust the chrome. It's very, very simple. Um, eventually, I will make videos of like the whole process of what I do. Um, the YouTube thing, obviously new to me. I'm not used to doing this yet. So, and I've been thinking and thinking. I, I got this editing app and I've been messing around with it i'm going to try and make a lot of content a lot of videos just record damn near everything i do load it up there i'm trying to make these to where they're short um fast forwarding through a lot of the bs that you know you don't want to see me sanding you don't want to see me painting blah 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 you know so i will eventually get there um this get it in better light here this is just basically primer with that layered all over it. And I'm gonna go back with the weathering, weathering powder there. Um, this It's basically just going to be the same, same thing as the Wildcat, which I've already boxed up because I'm going to model meeting here this weekend. Uh, I'll show you that again, but I, you've seen that on my Facebook and stuff. Uh, basically, it's just going to be, uh, you know, what you call a curbside. So, not going to look underneath of it. You're basically going to look at it. You know, whatever you can see on the ground is what you get. The hoods are going to be closed on this. Uh, this model doesn't come with really anything for a motor. It's one of the Walmart models. That's it right there. <laughs> I'm not even going to use that. Now you're going to put that in. That's pointless. All right. So what I'm going to do next here is I'm going to do the rust holes in the rockers along the bottom here. Uh, maybe do a couple of holes in the quarters. So what I'm using is the Dremel. This Dremel bit. It's one of the bigger ones. Um, there's a smaller one here that's really tiny i really don't use that much of that use this one do the bottom uh i'll do the holes real quick and i'm going to fast forward through be doing the rest of this here but what i'll do is i'll take 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 the drill and go from the back side when you're trying to make the hole so so you're heating up the plastic and coming through the back side and i'll show you why Hey, well, you'll you'll kind of see why when I do it. Oh yeah, closer up video. As you're coming through the back side of this, it's gonna start melting the plastic and give you the hole. And as soon as you start getting the hole. You stop focusing on that a little bit. Now see as it's coming through, you see it start bubbling through there. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a hole. I'm just moving it around in the back. And 
his revolt. Now the little tiny bit that I'm used that I somewhat use, you can turn this thing off. You can go around with that tiny bit and go around like the outside of this. And I'll show you that probably in a different video. Though I'm gonna do a separate video on all this stuff too. So, but this is just basically showing how you get the hole. And you don't do it from this side. Always do it from the back side. So you're heating up the plastic and just kind of bubbling up. And if you want to do like rust bubbles and stuff, that's a good way to do rust bubbles in it. So like, you just do it the same way. You just don't go all the way through. And you see that little bubble start to form. That's basically all I, how I do all the rust, like the whole part. As far as like doing the doing the rockers, I mean, you're just shaving all this stuff off. I'm gonna do the whole side all the way down. Um, maybe dent it up a little bit. I'll show you how I do that too. Okay, now that got all that done, I took the small bit here, went around little little holes that I created there and got a little bit more spots there that I'm gonna rust. And then I went out in the garage and got the model happy and went off and blew it off with the air compressor. Then uh, on to the next step. And hmm. I think what I'm going to do is going to use this next the Vallejo model wash. All right, so now I'm at the point where um, I, I I did do all the the rockers and everything, did all that, um, and uh, the uh, Vallejo rust stuff, and looks good and everything. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna do the weathering powder on that later. Um, I was gonna add more. So the top of this, like I did like the Wildcat, but the more I'm looking at it, this is where like it all changes. Like in my mind, I got an idea of like where I want to be at and what I want to do. But then when I start building something, like start going different ways with it and it just like, yeah, I, I don't know. So I'm kind of looking at it now like, Maybe I just want to just sand it with like some some more sandpaper and just like not get any more of that primer through, but just dull up the shininess to it a little bit and see where I can go from there. So I'm gonna try that and uh, see how I like it here. So, went ahead and used the 
sandy pad, 3000 grit sandy pad. And I don't know, I'm kind of liking the way it turned out here. So uh, I think I might just go with that. As you can see, some of the, you know, I, I got down to some of the, you know, the body, sanding off the primer and everything on some high points there, but that's fine. That can be covered up. Uh, yeah, that was, I really went a little way too heavy on that one, but that's fine. Um, I'll show you how to fix all that. And yeah, I think I'm going to go with this. I kind of sanded off the wash. I didn't want to, but it's still somewhat there. I think I'll probably have to put another coat of wash on it. But uh, yeah, I think we're just going to go with this now. So got the rust on there on the bottom of the rockers and everything. And pretty happy with this. All right, so now I'm back to using the model wash for the second time because I done sanded it off the last time. <laughs> Take some of this, some of the, the Vallejo rust stuff again and just touch it up on some areas here like the front that I messed up on okay so now I'm just going to take uh, this Tamiya weathering master powder type stuff well uh, it's not even powder I don't know what you would call it. Uh, I take a take these things. I think I showed this earlier in the video. The dual applicators, I at color applicators. Let's get at Walmart. And uh, I'm gonna take a uh, take this and just pretty much start doing the car in all the in black as much as I can here because the uh, uh, wash didn't really quite seem to work well. So um, now I'm gonna do this and uh, go to the next clip. I don't know if you can really tell on the camera much or not, but um, yeah, it's on there. It's not too crazy. I just wanted to give it a little bit of like some definition there. Um, make it look a little dirty. It's nothing, nothing major. I'll end up doing a GTO there and the silver pen. Um, oh, kind of got to work on the hood a little bit. There's a lot of lines there. So I'll uh, maybe sand it a little bit more and move some of that stuff around. Um, interiors drying. Um, nothing big on the interior. Just black as all the windows are sitting there. They're all weathered. You ain't gonna really be able to see it anyway. So it's just gonna be another curbside, just sitting in a field, you know, type of thing. So the windows are in. Um, I got the the post on there. Um, just have a little small piece of styrene that 
I keep up there with uh, I use the uh, liquid chrome on it just put it up there and that's what I use for my window posts it's good enough for me um, I hate putting these on though because trying to put them on is just a pain because with all the glue and the smearing and my hand kind of shakes and yeah right there as you can see that doesn't look good but we're just going to ignore that side um interior tub just flat black that's it so by the time you put it in the car i put the phone down here for a second You really ain't gonna see much. So really, like, because when you get the windows, you know, fogged up and weathered, you're really gonna see much in there. The only time I haven't I've said it before, the only time I worry about like the interior is when I'm gonna have the windows open. So. That's basically it. Ain't gonna be no motor in it because, you know, it's a Walmart model. So there's your lovely motor. Probably not AMT's fault. Probably just the quality that they put out in Walmart. Make it cheaper so we can sell it cheap. Okay, so this is how we're gonna do the motor. I don't know. So, uh, get the interior tub in there. Get the whatever you call that front piece on there. Um, got all the chrome parts sprayed, rust, the mirrors on. We're almost done. Um, gotta get the tires together, but I don't have much longer in this. So here we are. Uh, got the chassis on. Tires on, fronts on, glued the grill on there because it goes in behind it, and then you put the put that part on that front clip, whatever you call it. I'll put some license plates on here. Um, still got, I'm still I'm working on the back right now, uh, getting the tail lights in there, and yeah, not not that much more to do on this really, and. Um, oh, by the way, that is the only glue that I use, period. It comes out, you know, like kind of like in a little string, I guess. It's not like a uh, tester's glue. Um, I know a lot of people still use that stuff, but I want my stuff to dry, and I want it to dry, like, right now. So, I'm not waiting a day for that. That's, that's ridiculous. So, uh, get another light on here. There we go. Done. Total time on this build. I'm not kidding you when I say this. Probably four to five actual working hours to do this. What takes the longest is for the paint to dry. And that's it. Obviously nothing done underneath. I don't care. It's a curbside. It's just going to go in my junkyard. When I get that done. You know. Uh, yeah. That's it. And. Like I said before. I mean I'd. Not the best at doing this, but people love it, and <clears throat> it, I enjoy doing this, and we're going to do, a, obviously, a lot more. I've already done, I don't know, 70, maybe 60, 70 builds, and keep checking back for more builds. Start, I'm going to do start to finish, um, 
yeah, uh, if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. The first thousand subscribers gets uh, one of these actually built by me. Uh, you'll be entered in to win one of those three. <coughs> um, <coughs> this won't be the one in there that I'll be giving away because that is that one right there. But uh, yeah, this is, is that kit. So, um, go subscribe and, uh, see you in the next video.